The government put the figure at 20,000. The opposition says there were 10 times that number. The discrepancy over how many were out on the streets of Togo's capital Lome on Saturday gives some insight into just how far apart the opposition and the government are and how little interest they have in each other's views. Protesters want President For Nisingbe out and a two-term limit on who will take his place. But the president is resisting, sidestepping proposals that would see him go. 50 years is too much for one family. We're sick of this. You'll see, we're sick of this. For three months, people have been calling for an end to the political dynasty. Togo is the only country in West Africa that doesn't adhere to presidential term limits. That's kept the Nisingba family in power for half a century. First Nisingba Iadema for 38 years, and then his son who took over in 2005 when his father died. President Ford pledged in late September to hold a constitutional referendum. But the proposal for a two-term presidency is not retroactive. That means Nisingbe could stand again, even twice, potentially keeping him in power until 2030. As tensions rise, the president has called for loyalty from the armed forces. Protesters have responded by handing out flowers to those sent to keep the peace. A flower for each member of our armed forces. The army is ours. We want the armed forces to take the lead in this struggle and finish it with us. The government was having none of that. No, no. No, no. Our armed forces are loyal to our institutions. That is final. Nothing beyond that. The situation appears to have no clear resolution in sight. Both sides blame each other for violence that has killed 16 people over the last three months. West African leaders and members of the African Union have stepped in to try to get the two sides talking. But until that delivers meaningful change, these protesters insist they will keep marching. Miriam Nahond, Al Jazeera.